Namaskar and greetings of the day. This is Sapna Thakur and you are watching DYP Akodi Talk Show. Welcome to another interesting episode of this talk show. A wise man has rightly said, a leader is someone who knows the way, shows the way and goes the way. Well, our special guest today on this show is one such academic leader who has a rich experience of 32 years. He has worked in various capacities as professor, head of the department, coordinator and in charge for various academic and non-academic activities and presently working as the principal of one of the oldest polytechnic in Maharashtra. He was awarded prestigious Shahu Puraskar in the year 2013 for his contribution in the education sector by Pimpri Chinchwar Municipal Corporation uh, at the hands of the then mayor, Mrs. Mohini Lange. He is a distinguished person with an immense potential to inspire and motivate people around him. Under his disciplined leadership, his institute has reached to greater heights. Lead from the front has always been his mantra. Ladies and gentlemen, we have amid us Professor Arvind Kondekar, who is a principal of 36-year-old YB Patil Polytechnic, Akurdi, Pune. Sir, welcome to the show. Thank you, madam, for calling me on this show. Sir, keeping your vast experience in mind, what career path you suggest to the 10 past students? Uh, after 10th standard, for the students, those who don't want to opt for 11th st uh, standard science, arts, commerce, I would suggest them to opt for diploma engineering mm -hmm. because it is a lucrative course uh, because of its job oriented nature. Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, curriculum of diploma engineering, mm -hmm. MSBT has designed this curriculum in consultation with academicians and industry experts. Mm -hmm. wherein students have to complete six weeks in plan training where students get to know hands-on training. Right. So they become industry ready after passing out diploma engineering. Okay. Those who want to start their own business, they mm -hmm. can become entrepreneurs. So this is the uh, one of the option for 10th pass students. Sir, in the same vein, I would like to ask you that there is another common dilemma that parents and students face, which is, you know, why should one opt for diploma if their ultimate goal is engineering? As I mentioned right now, there are a number of benefits <coughs> of doing diploma. There are three aspects. Firstly, if you calculate number of years, after diploma also, one can become graduate engineer within six years. Mm -hmm. Three years for diploma and after diploma he can get direct secondary admission. So, three more years for engineering. All right. If the students opt 12th, he, uh, he, from that side also he will have to go through six years span. Mm -hmm. So, this is one aspect. Second one is after diploma students need not have to appear for CET or JWE. And the third aspect is after diploma students get basic knowledge of engineering. So, while doing engineering, they can do very easily and they can score very good marks in final year of engineering. Thank so, you. diploma is more like pre-engineering. Correct. Sir, now that you are suggesting our viewers to opt for diploma, could mm -hmm. you please share with us uh, all the job opportunities available uh, to the diploma holders? Okay. See, depending on the interest of the student, he or she may opt for computer engineering, electronics engineering, mechanical engineering or civil engineering. Okay. Computer engineering and electronics engineers, mm -hmm. they have opportunities in uh, IT industries. Also, they have got opportunities in government sectors. Mm -hmm. Similarly, civil engineers, they can go for uh, government jobs like PWD as well as they can start their own industry, they can go for the construction. Mm -hmm. Mechanical engineers, they can go for Indian engineering services, uh, government mechanical industries or they can go for private mechanical industries. So, big panorama of opportunities available to the diploma yes, holders. apart from their own uh, businesses. As we all know that training and placement is a backbone of any institute. Yes. So, sir, uh, if you could please tell us how effective is your training and placement cell 
and also how are you making students industry ready? YB Patil Polytechnic is committed to develop skilled and expert engineers in all disciplines of engineering. We have very established training and placement cell. Mm -hmm. In training and placement cell, we groom and prepare students to appear for interviews through the activities like online aptitude test, group discussions, mock inter interviews, etc. Oh. We have tie-ups with many organizations like Hire Me, who conduct online aptitude, aptitude test and make detailed analysis of students based on their performance. Okay. Personality and vocabulary of students is enhanced through training sessions conducted by the qualified faculties in our well-developed language laboratory. Sessions on personality development, behavioral skills, resume building are conducted through Barclays in association with Global Talent Track. That's really great. To give them practical exposure, we also arrange industrial visits, expert lectures mm -hmm. and technical workshops. Our training and placement cell maintains a database of our students of all disciplines. Mm -hmm. Many leading companies visit our institute regularly for campus interviews. Every year around 30 to 40 companies visit our campus. Wow. To name a few, Indian Education Society, Godrej, Siemens, Tata Motors, Bosch, Tech Mahindra, Vipro. All Four, MNCs. Yes, all MNCs, Force Motors and many more. I am proud to mention that one of my civil engineering student has received highest package of 5.4 lakh per annum last wow. year. That's by Indian true. Education Society. Mm -hmm. This is government sector. Yes. And the average package for diploma pass out student is around 3 lakh per annum. That's really great. Around 20 MOUs have been signed at the institute and departmental level through which various student centric activities are conducted. Even lockdown could not stop our placement activities. Placement mm -hmm. drives of top companies like Bosch, Force Motors, Varrock Engineering. Uh, Sigma Electric, Lumax Auto Industries mm -hmm. were coordinated by our uh, placement uh, faculties during the lockdown and more than 40 students have been placed. Mm -hmm. Also nearly 100 students from the nearby polytechnic were benefited by this drive. That's really great. Yeah. Now being in the education field for more than three decades. Please tell us what is the USP of your polytechnic, that is YB Patil Polytechnic. I mean to ask what makes YB Patil Polytechnic different or unique? Very good question. YB Patil Polytechnic is one of the oldest polytechnic in Maharashtra and we are working under the umbrella of Dr. D.Y. Patil Educational Complex, Akudi, Pune. The polytechnic has state of art building with excellent and ambient infrastructure. We have well equipped laboratories with modern instruments and equipments, highly enriching library facility including high speed internet, well developed language laboratories for improvement of communication skills mm -hmm. with a provision to learn even foreign languages like German. We have well maintained air conditioned auditoriums, we have open air theatres mm -hmm. for the gatherings other national and social events. We have spacious workshop with modern machines and equipments, mm -hmm. Wi-Fi facility for students, well-planned boys and girls hostel mm -hmm. with gymkhana facility. Mm -hmm. We have medical facility mm -hmm. in campus. We have got campus cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Our corridors and passages and parking areas are completely uh, under the surveillance of CCTV. Students are encouraged to participate in co-curricular and extracurricular activities in addition to regular academic work. The students have won different prizes in these activities every year. As the saying, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So along with academics, we have a very active sports team at the institute level. We have well qualified having rich experience, more than minimum 15 years of experience, highly motivated and dedicated faculty in our institute. Our institute has secured many achievements and awards. 
we have been awarded excellent grades in electronics and communication engineering, mm -hmm. also very good grades in mechanical, computer and civil engineering discipline by external academic monitoring of MSBT. Our campus is awarded as best campus by Indian Society of Technical Education. Mm -hmm. Seed Infotech has awarded YB Patil Polytechnic first prize for excellence in sustainable institute industry partnership at all India level. Sir, as a head of the institute, as an academic leader, any message for the youth? This time is a great opportunity to engage yourself in some constructive activity so that it helps you in acquiring the right skills and to pursue your interest and explore education in other domain also. Absolutely. So you may learn and adopt new technologies, learn different languages and other numerous activities of your choice. One more message to all young generation. What I feel that the young generation is being, is getting drifting away from the human traits. Yes. So they should focus on being calm, connecting with themselves and try to focus on what are the good human qualities so that they should understand and they can work on it and they can progress in life. This is the best time to focus on physical fitness, exercise yoga and naturopathy. Mm -hmm. In the current unusual situation, it is very important that we remain calm and support each other as the need arises. So be positive, be energetic and recharge yourself. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing this valuable information with us. And I'm sure that your inputs are going to be a guiding light for the youth to share, you know, to choose the appropriate career path. We really appreciate. Thank you, madam. Dear viewers, today's episode ends here. And let me conclude this session with the quote. Right education is the passport to the bright future. For tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Please stay connected till the next episode. Till then, be safe and be good.